hola boys welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video so guys in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to cut and sew this beautiful off shoulder tiered gather dress if that sounds like something you're interested in do make sure to keep watching and let's get started So yeah, for this dress, I'm making it of this beautiful Ankara print fabric that I have right here. Look how beautiful it looks. So yeah, and I have four yards of fabric like right here. The length of the dress I intend making measures 42 inches in length. So yeah, but for the off shoulder, I'm making it of five inch. So you can make it of more than five inches or not. So for the off shoulder, I'm making it of five inches. And like I said, it's a tiered gala dress like you've seen from the end result. So yeah, like we have the main bodies and then we have the gathers like attached to the main body so that makes sense so yeah for the gathers attached to the main bodies i'm making use of eight inches for that so five inches for the off shoulder eight inches for the gather at the um, bottom part so yeah to know the amount of fabric i need like for the main fabric like i said the length of the dress i'm making measures 42 so from this 42 inches taking away eight inches gives 34 and then Taking away 5 inches for the off shoulder gives 29. So yeah, this 29 inches now will be the length of the fabric. I need to create like the main bodies. Hope that makes sense. I want to like explain this before I go ahead to cut it. So yeah, for the main bodies, I'm making it of 29 inches. So like you've seen from the end result, like an off shoulder made it elastic. So I need to create casings at the top to insert an elastic. And then I need to like add my sewing allowance at the bottom to join this to the ruffle that's going to be at the bottom. So 29 inches plus one inch to create the casing gives 30, then plus half inch to join the main bodies to the other part of the dress gives 30 and half. Yeah. So the length of my main bodies is going to be measuring 30 and a half inches. So I have my fabric like right here, like I said, measuring 30 and a half inches as you can see so yeah now to know the width of the fabric you'll be needing this is going to i'm going to be inserting elastic at the top portion which is going to like gather it together my boss measures 34 so i fold my fabric in four right so that in two and then four and five, fold it in two again so my boss measures 34 so we multiply 34 inches by two 34 multiplied by two gives 68 inches like I said, I have my fabric folded in four, which measures 17 inches like so. So 17 times four gives us 68 inches, which I talked about earlier. So yeah. So now the next thing we need to go ahead and cut out the armhole. So yeah, like I said, it's an off shoulder. So marking out our one inch to create casings for our elastic. So yeah, placing our five inches, I said it's going to be five inches off, placing it right here and then marking the armhole. So yeah, my armhole or my chest line rather is measured at eight inches. So marking eight inches right here. So now for the armhole, I'm just going to come in by like four inches, like so. Good. So from here, this straight part, one inch here, like I said, starting for our allowance to create our casing. I was going to go ahead and Connect it together like so, and here it's just going to remain straight. So now I'm going to be inserting a pocket into this dress, like you've seen from the end result. Still placing our five inch right here. My waist measurement is at 15 right here. So for the pocket in, I'm placing the pocket in at 18 inches. So at 18 inches right here, we're going to be inserting our pocket ins, and like always, the width of the pocket in is going to be measuring seven inches. From here to here is where our pocket in is going to be inserted at. So going ahead now to cut off the hole. Good. And then like opening this part up because like it's closed, it's supposed to be opened up. Good. And I'm just going to go ahead now to notch the positions that I want to be inserting the pocket in at. Good. So now the next thing will be to cut out the fabric we'll be needing for the second gathers like the third gathered underneath like the ruffle so now like i said this is both the front and the back when it's opened up this is what it's looking like i'm going to go ahead and to measure 
like the whole length of the bottom part. These are pocketing notches. So measuring the whole length of the pocket and give us like 35. This little, so, um, it's supposed to be 34, right? So yeah, this is five just like half half inches on both sides, serve as like sewing allowances. So it gives us 35 inches. So now to create the ruffles at the bottom, like I always say, our ruffles at the second part depends on how full you want the gathered to be. So like the last skirt that we made was a third gathered skirt, I multiplied by one and a half. But this one I'm having like enough fabric, so I'll be multiplying by two. The more fabric you make use of, the more full the gathered is going to be. If I had enough fabric, I would have preferred multiplying by three. Just so like it's very full. But yeah, since I'm having only four yards of fabric, I'm multiplying the length by two inches. So for the front separately, for the back separately. So like I said, we have this measuring 35 inches, right? So 35 multiplied by two gives 70. So I'm needing a fabric measuring 70 inches for these and a fabric measuring 70 inches for these also. So yeah, this is the fabric we're using here to create the ruffles. I remember in the beginning we said the length of the ruffles or the second gathered should be measuring 8 inches, right? So to this 8 inches, I'll be adding 1 inch as hemming allowance, which gives 9 and a half inch to join the second ruffle to the main body, which gives 9 and a half inches in total. I have my fabric right here measuring 9 and a half inches in total. And for the length, I have to, like I said, one piece for each. So just Getting rid of one just so you can see the measurement I have here. Sixty. And I said it's supposed to be seventy extra two inches. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead now for this particular piece. I'm going to go ahead now and hem the ends. I remember we had two pieces, hem the ends of the fabric all through. And then I go ahead to run gather stitches at the top of this fabric. You can make use of your needle and thread. You can make use of your machine. Just go ahead to gather the fabric together for the both pieces. The one between for one front and for the back also. The next thing now will be to work on our sleeve. So like you see from the inspiration, it's like a puffed sleeve. So yeah, for the length of the sleeve, I want the length of my sleeve measuring 16 inches so yeah but you've seen that it's like an off shoulder so there'll be elastic at the top and elastic also at the bottom so one inch at the top to create casing for the elastic one inch at the bottom to create casings for the elastic in total gives 18 inches so i have my fabric right here measuring 18 inches so it's also folded in four that's for both sleeves we have two pieces but folded in four so yeah the width of the sleeve also depends on how puffy you want the sleeve to be. I also have my measuring 18 inches in width like so. So now to cut out the sleeve, I'm basically going to pick one side of the upper bodies, making use of the armhole to cut that of this one also. Since we also have the one inch we took off to create casings for the elastic, it's basically going to be the same thing. So just place it like so, ensuring that they align it's kind of not visible i'm just going to mark it out first and cut it out for the sleeve sorry i've marked the wrong side just so i know i'm going to go ahead now to fold the top fold the top to create casings for the elastic fold the bottom also to create casings for the elastic doing this for both sleeves like I said, it's going to have a pocketing fabric right here folded in two and further folded in two. Again, that's folded in four. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark out eight inches. Like I said, the width of the pocket should be seven inches on the dress, right? So, but the pocketing itself will have to be measuring eight inches. Half half inches serving as sewing allowance at the top and at the bottom of the pocketing. So placing my hand like this, like towards the needle, and then from this 18 inches, just connect it together like so. Then I go ahead to cut it out. But this right here will be for the pocketing. Just going ahead to open it. This is going to be for the pocketing for the rope, the band, whatever, the one I used to like tie on my waist to give 
it's like a more gathered effect around my waist good so the width of the band i want it to be measuring one and a half inches right so i have my fabric measuring four in width so when it's folded in two it gives two inches and when it's sewn by a half inch it gives one and a half inch as you can see and for the length it can be as long as possible just something that is enough to like round your waist and then form like a bow for mine i have it measuring 35 and a half inches on fold that means when it's open it's measuring 71 the half inch is just like to close up the edges so basically i have my band measuring 70 inches so just go ahead and fold it to the right side fold it like so then you see you like this so you leave like an opening towards the middle like this right here so many you seal up this edge seal stop here seal up the other edge seal stop here leaving this portion open to turn it inside out then we later just like make use of the space to close it up so for the main bodies i'm just going to go ahead now and hem the top to create casing to pass in the elastic and while i'm at it i'm just going to go ahead and also attach the pocketings we have our notches for the pocketings this is the pocketing right here like i said the pocket itself is measuring seven but the pocketing itself is measuring eight so here is why so mark half half inches above this notch point and below this notch point then you place our pocketings right there and it's going to fit perfectly as you can see go ahead to see it like so give it a top stitch the same thing at the other side sit like so give the top stitch so guys after i was done hemming the top this is what it's looking like i'm gonna have to attach the pocketing as you can see so while i was doing this i decided to attach a learning so yeah the learning is nothing serious just basically the same thing with the main fabric itself then the length is determined by you because it will be long or short basically so now i've also gone ahead to hem this particular fabric i'm making use of to make the second gathers or the ruffle i'm gonna have to hem it and i'm gonna have to also run gather stitches like so so now basically the next thing i'll be to go ahead and just gather the fabric and you go ahead and attach it to the bottom of the dress so you ensure you're attaching it uniformly right sides facing each other place it like so and ensure that it's arranged uniformly so while you are stitching you kind of like um draw the ruffles so ensure that it's uniform all through and attach it all through the hem of the main bodies so for the sleeve i'm gonna have to hem the top and also the bottom the next thing now will be to pass the elastics in so this is the elastic right here i'm making use of so for the top portion i'm making use of seven while for the bottom i'm making use of eight so for the top making use of seven inches and for the bottom making use of eight inches so now i'm just going to go ahead and make use of my open and close pin this pin so secure it down like so and then you go ahead and pass it in so once it's in i'm going to make use of my safety pin to secure the elastic down just so it doesn't like pass through the entire thing and then i'm going to just like pass this in until it's out As I want it out, you also secure it down with a safety pin like so. I'm basically going to be putting the same thing I did up here with this uh, elastic inserting it into this portion. And when I was done, this is what the sleeve is looking like I've inserted at the top and the bottom. So I'm still and they are still held by safety pins. So I'm just going to go ahead now and take it to my machine and then just like tack all those points and pins are so i get rid of the pins so i'm also gonna head to um seal the band like i said leaving an opening at this portion right so i'm just going to go ahead now and turn this inside out 
scissors since I don't have like a loop toner and then just like push it in as well it's out here and then you make sure to like push out the corners draw it out if it is anything for this other side so now that you are out this is what we have all that is left is just to go stitch just to close it up so just stitch it down and then our band is ready after all is done attaching the gathered to this part this is what i have attached it and this is what it's looking like so the next thing now will be for you to ensure that you get rid of the thread you used to gather the fabric because look at this man it's looking a bit like rumpled on the upper side so we're gonna get rid of the thread that we used to create like the gathered effect just like draw the strings out onto the thread it's like out out finally and now you can see the difference and the top portion now looks more relaxed. The next now we insert our elastic at the top portion. So for the top portion, I'm making use of eight inches. Is my shoulder measures 14? So if I make use of my shoulder measurement, it's going to be like two three. So I'm just going to be making use of eight inches, and like we did for the sleeve. Making use of TC pin to pass it in, let's out now. This is everything that we did with this front piece. We're going to be doing it for both the front and the back pieces. Yeah, this is the other piece. So place them right sides facing each other, and then now the next nice way to place your sleeve. The sleeve is going to be what joins the front and the back together. Here's my sleeve right here here this is the right side so you place it like so and basically sew the armhole together do the same thing here you're doing the same thing with the other sleeve so guys after i was attaching the sleeve this is what it's looking like All right so the next time we're going to do now we to go ahead and just see from the sleeve like so i have inches enough you come in and you have inch in the pocket sew around the pocketing come back half inch in and then you sew downwards and you also repeat the same thing this side and that's basically it so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did not forget to like subscribe turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos thank you for watching bye, -bye.